In this video, we are going to go through how to create a garment pigment wash effect on a classic tee. The first thing I am going to do is create the washout look that you see on the seams of a pigment wash. I'm going to do this by using my top stitch tool. Here, my default top stitch, I'm going to select this. First thing I'm going to do is change the type. So instead of using an OBJ type, I'm going to use a texture. This is because I don't want my wash to be a hard object. It's going to just be a texture on it. Next, I'm going to change the texture of the top stitch. So I'm going to go into my file open and bring in one of the brushes that I've created in Illustrator. So here I have my brush and I'm going to open that up. The properties in the, in the property editor are going to change slightly for this top stitch. I'm now going to use my segment top stitch tool and apply this wash effect on all of the areas of the shirt that I would see this in real life. As you can see, this is just like applying it as any regular top stitch. Since I want my neckline to be a little bit different from the rest of the body, I'm going to create a separate top, top stitch wash for my neckline. I'm just going to select this and assign my second top stitch to that neckline. Here I'm going to change with the offset a little bit more so that I can see this a little bit better. Now I'm going to go in and play around with the offset of my body so that I can see that a little bit more. I'm also going to flip this top stitch to make sure that it's going in the right direction. As you can see, editing this wash effect is just like editing any top stitch that you normally would within Cloud. All of the same basic principles apply. I'm now gonna go in and change my color to a color that's closer to the body so that this all looks a little bit more realistic. I'm going to do the same with the neckline, but for here I'm going to have a little bit of a lighter color. Once this is set, I'm now going to go to my fabrics and add in the all over wash for the fabric. I'm doing this through our multi-texture editor tool. Here I'm going to add an all over wash that I've created in Illustrator as well and just use this wheel to make it larger, turn on my desaturation and change the color to a color closer to the shirt. I'm also going to make it a little bit lighter so that I can see it a little bit better. Once this is done, I've now created a pigment wash effect on this basic tee. The last step will just be to render this out or add any other top stitching that I would. And here you can see a rendered garment with using this technique. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.